Ealing is a small DGH. I would think at least a thousand ECGs a week are happening uh, in all departments, including emergency and outpatients. When I worked in various wards, I actually realized that uh, a lot of nurses were not aware of a basic interpretation of the ECGs. That led me to think about that, what uh, if I start up with a course and start to teach the ECGs? And I started off with a small group on a cardiology ward and that expanded on to a full-fledged whole day course. We would expect you to come with n or zero knowledge or no knowledge of ECG and we would expect you to walk out of the course having uh, basic understanding and basic interpretation skills of all life-threatening conditions which can be picked up on the ECG. Our drive here is to just empower nurses, um, not just the cardiac nurses but nurses throughout the trust to get them to be able to um, demystify uh, issues surrounding ECG interpretation and analysis. It's them recognizing an irregularity, um, reacting, being responsive, being able to, to, to quickly call a doctor so that we can sometimes, we initiate therapy and that could be pharmacological, it could be interventional that's required. So the, 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 the more they're able to do that, I think the patient outcome improves. When they come in, they are scared. You can see that they don't know and they are afraid of looking at the ECG. But by the end of the day, they feel much more confident and our feedback has been marvelous. Oh God, I, I used to dread it. I would say I read my first ECG, what, uh, almost 15 years ago, and I had no clue what is, what is it. From my own experience, I can tell you that uh, it is not that easy to understand what is written in the books and that they're very complicated. So this is why when I designed this course, I simpli simplified it to an extent that it can, anybody can understand. We are keen to go on to the universities because we think this is important. Um, when we speak to students, it is something that they wish was part of their curriculum. We're looking forward to engaging with uh, some universities and see if it's something they would like to put onto the curriculum.